all right so python has uh, somewhat zen description of its design principles which uh, you can find inside the python interpreter uh, it's a, just by importing uh, the modules okay you, you can just write by like uh, import and then you can find the particular modules and as such all the different stuff okay so one of the most important thing what we are going to discuss is that there should be one preferably only one obvious way to do any particular task right so code written in any format there like uh, if we are writing a string so syntax dynamic semantics what we are talking about okay so those should be written in a proper way like when we are writing codes that thing okay now we come to a point of uh, the first uh, we can say sub point of the zen of python what we say have to be white space formatting okay so many languages are there which use curly braces to delimit blocks of code right in python what we do we are not going to go with the basics guys okay sara kuch basics se nahi padhne wale hai theek hai so jitne topics whatever we are having in sub ko we will reshuffle but with a different technique okay let's see so we have here okay in the zen of python uh, if i make it like this right we are going to go with white space <coughs> form it sorry okay uh now for this the white of uh, white space formatting so like yesterday we did a program small program chhota sa program kiya the kal loops ka 1 2 3 4 5 print kar rahe the usme right we were printing some kind of things over there so again i'll write the same loop program that for i in 1 2 3 4 5 5 we print i for j in 1 2 3 4 5 Different J. Priya Elsa, uh, screen it. Not visible. She is writing. How many of you have you are uh, having those uh, same problem? Screen visible? नहीं है क्या? It's visible, sir. हाँ तो Priya, you do one thing. Please rejoin. Maybe share technical issues you will be having from your side. कितनो को screen visible नहीं हो रहा है. Okay. Okay. Now this is print i. What it will do? First line for the i block. Print j. What it will do? First line for the j block. Okay. print i plus j what will do last line for the j block and the uh, print i it will do uh, sorry this is i print i it will go with the last line for the i block so this makes python code very readable for you any doubts here in the code so white space is ignored inside parenthesis and brackets which can be helpful for long wided computations if i run this you'll get the output like this okay now in case of uh, any other language what do you use there uh, syntax levels obviously okay so long wided computations is to be like let's say in the long wided computation if you write like this
let's say there is a tuple and I write 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 7 A tuple consisting of 1 to 10 numbers and for making this code easier to use what we can do we can create a list of lists there are some more ways right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In ko padna ho. So, this could be one way. Easily. Inside a list, we can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 different, different elements consisting of 3 different elements there. Now, to make it more easier to read, I am just giving you the way if you are having a long wide computation data. In ko shorten karke aage kis se you can go and you can use it. So, like reading this list is easier. Okay, but for more easier this, if you want to make it more easier, kiss format we rakh sakte hain Something like this. One, two, three. See. Now you tell which format is more easier. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now what you feel which format is more better? Right, the easier one I think that it is much more easier to read the lists. And further more uh, the data is what you will be going go through. You will be working on numpy arrays. You will be having the same output in this way, not in this way. Okay, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So when we read about when we read about modules, so certain features of Python are not loaded by default. This include like uh, both the features included as a part of a language, as well as like you can say for the third-party features, what you can download yourself. Okay. So in order to use these features, you'll need to import the modules that contain them. Understand what are modules basically, right? So if we go to discuss about modules, so Zen of Python, the next topic we have after white spacing we have modules. So why do we use modules? Koi reason hoga na? There should be one reason why we use modules. So what is the reason? certain features of python are not loaded by default right so if you want to uh, use those features you'll need to import the modules that contain them so one approach is to simply import the module itself right so like if i write import re and i write my regex is equals to re dot compile. I'll go through this what is it? Okay. And I go through this here 0 to 9 plus sorry. Re dot i. Done. So here re is the module containing functions and constants for working with regular expressions. So after this type of import, you can only access those functions by prefixing with this re dot understood aapne re import kiya to aapko jitne bhi functions hai you can only work off these functions will only be working after you write the re dot okay so if you have already uh, you know like uh, 
if you have a uh, different code like if you have uh, already written re in your code you can use it like import re as regex then i can write my regex equals to regex dot compile there is no such like prefix word there as aap kuch bhi import kar sakte ho like there is name amninder so i can write like this i would i would write amninder dot compile clear samajh aa rahi hai baat yes sir okay to compile the same code you can write there but here yahan pe you'll have to write regex you'll have to write this so you might also do this if your module has an unwidely name and you are going to be uh, typing at a, uh, like uh, a lot of things if you write for matplotlib and uh, like future and also from scikit-learn some functions are like very big names over there okay so some uh, like uh, libraries are having a standard conventions like for matplotlib we'll go with that okay so let's run this now directories you can go through what is regex what is basically what is his documentations you can go through like it's not very important for now us to study this okay let it be my regex recompile cases ignores and all it's not a very big deal for now i'm just going what like how we import modules and what other things okay okay leave it now now so uh, what i said that some of the uh, like visualizing data with like matplotlib has a standard conventions like we use we call it as standard conventions like uh, you might have read about um, what we call it as something into 10 to the power n n to the power something in uh, class 11 physics we did exponentials yeah standard de uh, deviation no sorry exponentiation and some kind of standard notations were yeah standard notations were there mm, yes sir right similarly here standard conventions are there so like if i write import matplotlib dot pipplot we always use like this plt you can use any other name but we use plt normally everyone uses right so if you need a very specific values from a module you can import them explicitly and you can use them without qualification like for example okay let's run this yeah done okay for example let's say if i'm writing from collections import default dictionary and uh, let's say counter what we read yesterday okay we can create a lookup of default dictionary of an integer and my counter i'll give it as okay so if you are a bad person you could import the entire contents of a module into your namespace which might uh, like overwrite variables you have already defined right let uh, you say me one thing when we are working in programming sectors what the very most important thing we focus on sabse pehla to we focus on codes and the next is storage hai na you are learning data science you need to see like data is there data hai that is not enough what storage it is taking that is also important right so if there is no use of any other function ab mujhe batao ki if i have only the use of rand integer okay i pure file mein if i have use of only this function random is just sirf yahi function ka mujhe kaam hai i need only this function from the random module 
no other functions use is there so why do i import completely random why will i completely import the random model it will import all the functions so in place i can only write from random import random right because i only need that particular function so my storage will be used for only random not for all the functions of the random then the same thing if i am using default and counter only so i don't uh, require to uh, you know like import all the functions from collections so whenever you are importing modules and like if you are working with a particular library let's say pandas then obviously you have to import completely the pandas spd but if in case you are using only one or two functions or three functions of that particular module you can import it from don't ever like try to import completely it is not a very great loss if you write it but the things are like that it will uh, affect your storage nothing else like it will take more storage and probably like if you are working professionally so make these habits that would be better right understood everyone yes sir Hmm. Okay. No. Arithmetic. Now, Python two point seven uses integer division by default. Hey, do you know this? In Python, what is integer division? पता होगा ना? Everyone knows this. Yeah, guys, integer division पता है ना? Yes. Sir. Right. I, I like three by five and three by by five. Clear. Integer division, normal division. Right. So in Python two point seven, I would write it here. Python 2.7. Uh, what we use uses you can write uses integer by default. Okay, so like five by two, three by five, there is same result. So almost always this is not what we want. So we start our files with from something import division. So there, there we use. From future import division. So after which five by two or three by two, here comes is one point five. This is something I am talking about Python two point seven because there is not always a very uh, big deal that you would only get three point something in your next workings. Like right? this is all obviously your choice on which you are working, but you should know this. That what this future does, clear? ये module पता था क्या? No sir. No sir. है ना? So in Python three we have this feature now. लेकिन Python two point seven was not having this. So if there you need integer division, you would have to do this like this. So now here we need integer division. Here in the handful cases we have this. We use double slash and we get the things. Okay. All right. So in arithmetic, this is important. Yeah. Next. All its functions. Now function is a rule. For uh, taking zero or more inputs and returning a corresponding output, right? Okay. So, do I need to write the definitions here, guys? Or you can see back to the videos and you can understand. No need to write such definitions. Yeah, because it will take time, right? Yes. If you have doubts, I can clear it here itself. I avoid writing definitions. Okay. So functions is nothing but what I said is 
as a rule for taking zero or you can take more inputs and it will return a corresponding output to you simple so we typically define functions using def word def okay so let's see if you write def let's say uh, i create a function that's called double okay now every function now from now you uh, keep this in practice then whenever you are making any function try to use doc strings that means documentation for that function how the user will understand how the uh, you can say the user who is reading your function how he will understand that what is the use of that function like for example if you know print function right we know what is print function okay what is the use to print something right now let's say if someone comes which is a non programmer and if he looks at this function now this is a user defined function so he can understand but still there are some of the functions some uh, some functions are there like if i say uh, counter what counter does right so you do not uh, you do not know what counter does but yesterday you did the documentation right you find the documentation of this so how documentation comes when you write it okay so if you are uh, writing your functions also you need to write the documentation so can i write this underscore underscore doc underscore underscore the documentation here so if i write help of print so help on built in function now what you see here is documentation nothing else clear पाइथन बनाने वाले ने डॉक्यूमेंटेशन लिखा है इस पर कि प्रिंट का ये डॉक्यूमेंटेशन है तभी तो इफ यू गेट अ हेल्प ऑफ दिस यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली दिस फंक्शन मींस व्हाट इट डज ओके सो लाइक इफ आई एम मेक ओके इसको क्लियर कर दे क्लियर है ना सबको क्या बोल रहा हूं एवरीवन इज क्लियर यस सर या सो इफ आई एम मेकिंग डबल फंक्शन आई वुड हैव टू राइट हमने पैरामीटर ले लिया इनसाइड वी टुक अ पैरामीटर now we'll use doc strings and i'll write down now let's say i say this is where you put the uh, head this area i'll define this area that uh, this is where put an optional this is an optional method okay but you should keep a habit like if you are writing what the function does right for example this function what i am making multiplies it's input by 2 humne inka naam diya double so def double ka kaam hoga to return x whatever the input would be multiplied by 2 clear and i'll run this simple the so python functions are first class which means that we can assign them to variables and then we can pass them to into functions like any other arguments so pehle is function ko we'll run this we'll see what is working so double now it says an error what is an error double missing one required positional argument x so kya apne andar x likha you have given x you need to enter something if i say one answer would be 2 1 multiplied by 2 returns 2 if i write 5 i'll get 10 clear and now if someone comes and tries to get that what is double what this function does if i remove this now how he will identify what this double does so what he will do is he can get the help of double he'll get a documentation on this that this is where you put an optional doc string that explains that what the function does for example of oh, spelling it sorry this function multiplies its input by 2 understood what i was saying yes sir Now, okay, spelling mistake we have. Let's make it clear. Yeah. 
of them. So yeah, update it. Everyone clear with the things? Any doubts? Yes, sir. Nice. Okay. Now let's see for the uh, next example. If you say to apply one class or parameter again. And this habit is better, okay? So like this is something which calls the function f what we have created uh, I'll write with one okay like here return f of one okay so let's see for example so I write my double equals to double Okay, this is referred to the previously applied function. And x I'll write it as apply to one. Uh, you can write my. Right, so see, this is f of 1 now. Okay, so x you will get 2. What is right? x of 5. x will get 10. Understood? Same thing. We we'll change the value here itself, and we, if you can apply for a class, we can go with the values there. Itself. Okay, or more easily, if you write y equals apply to 1 if you use the like lambda x x plus 4 so this will be equals to 5 right if you get your y it will be 9 sorry yeah 9 again you run this now why because f you got you the values we have is 5 if you make it 1 we we'll get here 5. Clear it. Clear to everyone. Yes, sir. And now you change the values here in the F. We'll get here yes, sir. the values accordingly. So you can assign lambdas to variables. Although most people uh, like will tell you that uh, you should do just use def instead of writing all these. Right. So we can use that too. If you get a suggestion, so we will do all the possible ways here. Okay. Someone's mic is on. Please mute it. So another double. Let it be lambda. Okay. So if we write like this, another double lambda. I run this. Lambda two. If I write six. Nineteen. So don't do this. What I prefer. Don't do this one. This is a method, but don't do this. What you can use is def another double x return this. This would be the suggestions of the people. Like simply you can write this at another double equals to lambda x then 2 multiply x but mostly the people would suggest you that def another x return 2 into x do this you write you get the same variable values would be same right likhne ka tarika to is different but the values what you are getting is same 
So function parameters can also be given default arguments, which only need to be specified when you want to add a value or uh, you can use that like default. Okay, so we'll see. It's not like you cannot use any of uh, what I'm saying is from people like from uh, different different you. Uh, yeah, from different users perspective. At some some may say you that you use this one or you use this one. Most people say you that you use this. Okay, but the ways are there. Okay, right. So if you only see notes, don't say that this is a wrong method. Sir, I say this is a wrong method. No, this is not a wrong method. This is something what very less users use, but it's not a wrong method. Okay, let's see. So def like my print. My message is a default message. Okay, I just say to print message. Oh, sorry. Okay, so my print, if I run. What I see my default message. If I write my message, I print hello data science world. Clear. Okay, and it, it is sometimes like useful to specify arguments by names. How? Let's say. If I write subtract. 10 and 5. You'll get your 5 result. Okay. If I write subtract b equals 5, you'll get minus 5. So you have given b value 5. A minus b is minus 5. Okay. Right. Doubts. No, sir. Nice. So with our topics, I think uh, we have headed towards um, we have went to now we are here. Thanks. So till here, any doubts? No, sir. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. Fine. So we are here in the swings now. Oops, sorry. In the swings. Now, strings can be delimited by a single or a double quotation mark. This we all know. Right, but the codes have to be matched. Like, it's not like we are starting from single digit, ending from double digit. Sorry, in, uh, ending from double quotes. Right, so strings has to be matched, or you can use single or double anything. So let's write like single quoted strings. Data science. Double quoted strings data science ok and python uses backslashes to encode special characters ok how let's say a tab string 
equals to this. So basically, it represents a tab character. The length of a tab string one. If I make it two, clear. Tab string. Okay. So you can create multi-line strings using triple double quotes. Multi-line strings using triple double quotes or we say it has to be dog strings. Okay. like multi line strings we say this is the first line and this is the second line third line like this you can create multi line strings clear eh? everyone clear with this <coughs> exceptions now when you do something in your codes okay and when something goes wrong so python raises an exception unhandled like these will be caused your program to crash even right so you can handle them using try and accept how let's say if i write x is equals to data science which error you will get obviously name error data science is not having any name x is not having any name it's not defined so this is an exception, an error you raised. Clear? Aapko name error mila na? Because it is not defined. Right? So, to handle these kind of exceptions, what you want? How do you, you can handle this? Let's see. For example, if I say try. I am writing print 0 by 0. And I know the error will come. So what I will do? Except, let's see what comes print 0 by 0. 0 division error. Division by 0. So I know that this is the error name. Error name is zero division error so this error will come so instead of writing or giving this error so if this error comes instead of printing or showing this error I would only print cannot divide by zero Although like in many languages, exceptions are considered bad. But in Python, there is no, uh, like you can say, shame in using them to make your code cleaner. And we occasionally do this. If I run this here, 
So cannot divide by zero is better than showing an error. Yes, guys. Any any doubts? No, sir. है ना आपने किया try. अब this code will give you an error. ये आपको पता है. So you can handle that error. And you can print instead of error. You can print something good. Okay. Hey. All right. चलो we'll start list. लिस्ट को स्टार्ट कर देते सो प्रोबेबली ऑल द मोस्ट फंडामेंटल डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इन पाइथन यू हैव लिस्ट इज द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन सो ए लिस्ट इज वी कैन से सिंपली एन ऑर्डर्ड कलेक्शन सिमिलर टू वर्ड लाइक इन अदर लैंग्वेज माइट बी कॉल्ड एज एन एरे बट विद सम एडेड फंक्शनैलिटीज हेयर इन द लिस्ट ओके so i just quickly make you revise about the list like an integer list heterogeneous list Okay. Then I left list of lists. Sorry, we did this just now. Okay. Then you can get a list length using. Then up, let's say for integer list. Integer list. We'll get an answer there. Actually, equals to three. Okay, we have sum of list. We can get sum of. Then let's we'll get equals six, right? So you can get or set the nth element of a list with square brackets. Okay, I'm not printing all this now. Oh, uh, there is some kind of error. Heterogeneous list is not. Okay, so like if you want to see, you can print. String one true, and a blank list. Let's do a genius list. List of lists. Just a minute. Back to you. List of lists, one, two, three, then a list, and then a blank list. Okay, so let's say x is equals to range of ten. So this is like list of one, two numbers. List of what? Zero, one, two, three, dot, dot, dot till nine. Right. So what I write as zero. Is equals to x of zero. You can write like this. Just getting a revised it. X. This is equals to one. Nine equals to x of nine, or x of minus one. You can write this. You can write x is equals to minus two. So this equals Pythonic. 
for last elements right we said this minus terms negative to pythonic okay the keyword is pythonic i can write it right i can write it here this will be equals to 8 Okay, so instead of saying the negative one element, we can say we can say pythonic of last element. Not here, sorry. Here you can say pythonic to last element. Here pythonic to last next to last element. Okay, like this. If I say x is equals to minus 1, now it would be minus 1, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, and like that. Again, name it z is not defined. Where is it? 6. Range object does not support item assignment. Huh? Okay. So, List we used to pop up there. Okay, now if it's x minus 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you say 0, 1, 9, 8, you can get possibly the results. Clear, guys. You can also use square brackets to slice these lists. Like just making you remember all the terms. Force 3 you can use. X of force 3 like this. 3 to end. You can go with X of 3 to end. 1 to 4. You can go with X of 1 to 4. Okay. Last 3. Three to everything, right? Oh, sorry, minus three you can take. Last three will take minus three. Okay. Now if you say without first and last, this is slicing, and this will help you in arrays. Same slicing, वहाँ भी use होगा. So you should know this. Conditions कैसे कैसे आ सकते हैं. So without first and last element चाहिए तो x of one to minus one. And copy of x you need then you say x of this. Okay. So we can use all those. Made. First three three two and okay. We can print all of them one. Print first three. Print three to n. Print one to four. Print last three. Without first and last, and print copy of fix everything. See the last three this and like that. All. Okay, clear, eh? Yes, sir. Okay, now Python has an uh, in operator to check. Like it's member uh, list, like if I say operator, hai, so check karke dekhte. like one in uh, force three. Hai kya? Is it true? Okay, like this zero in 
वन टू जीरो सो दिस टेक्स इन्वॉल्विंग एग्जामिनिंग द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द फुल लिस्ट एट वन टाइम विच मीन्स बेसिकली दैट यू प्रोबेबली शुड नॉट यूज इट अनलेस यू नो इट योर लिस्ट इज प्रिटी स्मॉल इफ इट इज स्मॉल यू कैन चेक सो इट इज ईजी टू कॉन्कैटिनेट लिस्ट टूगेदर हाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से वाई इक्वल्स टू वन टू थ्री आई कैन राइट वाई डॉट एक्सटेन And get a, a list concatenated there. Three, four, five. So y would be possibly one, two, three, three, four, five. And if you don't want to modify your y, you can use list additions. Right? Y plus five, six, seven. This is modifying list. This is val changing the values of y. Here it is not changing. It's just printing. Now, more frequently, we'll use append to list one item at a time. A single at element is to be added. Let's say zero. So why you'll get zero? Okay. So it's like very often to unpack list table. If you know like how many elements are there, uh, containing how many elements are there. Okay. So although you get a value error. If you don't have the same number of elements, so errors are like very much not uh, ignoring things. Okay, it's common to use an underscore for a value you are going through away. Whenever you are underscore, make right? understood. It's common to use an underscore for a value you are going to throw away. You don't want like s. We so use underscore, comma z. Let's say. One and two. So, don't want a variable, right? You require less space as compared to z. Understood, guys? Yes, sir. All right. So all this for today. I will go with the next stuff by tomorrow.